with changes to the track, upcoming changes to regulations, and a Bottas stuck in Finland. Let's talk about the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Last time out in Monaco, in case you don't remember, Verstappen took a win from Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris, as Bottas didn't finish due to a wheel gun issue at the pit stop, and Lewis Hamilton finished down in 7th after an undercut strategy did not pan out. And this means that for the first time since Germany 2018, Mercedes are not leading both championships, or either championship really for that matter. This is almost unprecedented times in the world of Formula 1. And it's going to be a lot of fun to see how it pans out. But it's expected to be some kind of return to what we've seen throughout the season so far. The Leclerc is expecting Ferrari not to be up uh, towards the front like it was at Monaco. And meanwhile, Daniel Ricciardo is hoping to be back in some kind of form. He's hoping that the simulator work has brought a positive change. In terms of changes to the track, I mentioned there were going to be changes to the track. Turn 8 has now been reprofiled with the curb going into the castle section now removed, or essentially flattened. It means that they're expecting drivers to be carrying about 10 to 15 km per hour more through the castle section. However, at the same time, there have been clarifications about drivers going too slow in subparts such as these on qualifying runs to hope to build up a gap. There's going to be a stricter clampdown with many threats of sanctions i bet but there are also upcoming rule changes the ongoing debate around flexi wings will see changes in the next race of paul ricard where stricter tests will be put into place these are likely going to be affecting teams such as red bull who are believed to have materials or a design of the rear wing which means that it bends more under heavier loads but this could be a good weekend for them, given the fact that Sector 3 is almost flat. And also teams further down the grid, like Alfa Romeo, who are currently undergoing negotiations with Stellantis, the owner group of the Mark Alfa Romeo, to keep the brand deal that takes over the existing Salva team going past the 2021 season. And yeah... I, I mentioned it, Bottas has been stuck in Finland due to problems with flights being cancelled. Let's hope that he gets there in time, because I don't know what Mercedes will do. They could try and call up George Russell again and have an all-British lineup. But I also wouldn't be surprised if one of their reserve drivers, be that the likes of Stoffel van Dorn, Nick de Vries, or even Nico Hulkenberg, let's say, um, ends up stepping into the car for maybe a practice session should Bottas not be able to get there on time. Either way, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is going to show. In terms of teams to look out for, I'd say Alfa Romeo, maybe McLaren as well, but particularly Daniel Ricciardo. And let's see how close that battle at the front is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.